I love living in Warburton. I love the community, the people, the surroundings, and I don't think I really want to live anywhere else. I am drawn to the beauty of the nature, the trees, the river, everything. And while it's, it's a direct reflection of the surroundings, at the same time, I use my own imagination and add my own flair to it to show people what I see because I see everything in colour and <laughs> bright colour and so that's what my paintings reflect. Yes, I think in colour, I dream in colour and I spend a lot of time admiring colour. <laughs> I don't really plan what I paint before I begin. I kind of just put colours down and see how they work against each other and then I build the painting up as I go. It's really hard to actually talk about how I come up with these ideas because it's a very instinctual thing. It's something that's just in me that I understand how to change the values of the colours to make them work. I really love the impact that colour has and the way colour can have emotion and bring out feelings in people. My work is definitely not, you know, realistic. It's like that on purpose. I really like to just experiment with values of colours and different harmonies of colours and how they work together in order to create depth but also create a whimsical kind of artwork. I want my artworks to be happy and beautiful and I want people to look at it and go, wow, I love that. I get joy from being an artist through the process of actually just creating art and painting. I find it really relaxing, really meditative. I get into a zone, I just block everything else out. And I find that whole process, if I'm not creating, I feel like something's missing. Honestly, I don't think it really, I really chose a path of creativity. I've just always been creative. I was surrounded with the creativity when I grew up and it was always encouraged. And so I kind of, that's just how I've lived my life. I've always had an urge to create and make and produce things. I, during lockdown, I got a lot of positive feedback from people because everyone was locked up inside, they couldn't ex like explore their surroundings, they couldn't go on holidays and so even just posting pictures of uh, the landscape that I look at and the way I interpret it was enough for people to go, oh wow, look at the colour, look at that. I found a lot of joy in doing that as well and I really liked the fact that I was able to give people a break from their, you know, everyday lives.